Spice, it's Kali G here and I've got some more Battlefield 4 leaked news for the new game coming this year and the first thing I'm going to talk about which is actually really really cool is some dynamic battlefields so basically they're saying like there'll be like a dam in the battlefield and it can get chipped away and eventually when it gets blown up it'll flood the whole place which I thought sounds really cool and hopefully they do that with a couple more maps as well so I really hope that'll be in the new game. Um, for the DLC side, um, they are saying how people feel bringing Operation Metro and Caspian Border with the new Frostbite 3 engine while remade with it, which I thought would be a really good idea. Hopefully they have a few more maps as well, which they most likely will, because it'll be a DLC. But yeah, those are like some of my favourite maps, and in Frostbite 3, it'll be a really, really good like graphics and everything. Also, people were asked to grade the potential names for the particular pack, alongside the lines of Battlefield 4 Recommissionized, uh, no, Recommissioned, and Battlefield 4 Reenlisted, Battlefield 4, Battlefield 4 War Torn, and Battlefield 4 Reconstructed, which were kind of complicated to say, um, reading them off, um, but yeah. But um, I thought that would be kind of cool DLC. Sorry if I was like making a load of mistakes, but yeah. Um, so yeah, I really hope they'll do that. And hopefully that'll be, most likely I feel that'll be with, um, if you pre-order it, you get that expansion pack when you pre-order it. Because they said you'll get a um, a special expansion pack. So hopefully that'll be it. Um, also, DICE's second potential DLC, um, they said will focus on naval battles. Which I, I really wanted to be in um, the game as well. It was just in my wish list, if you kind of didn't understand where I was going. Um, so, naval battles only and had potential names like Battlefield 4 Naval Warfare and Battlefield 4 Steel Titans. So, that sounds really cool. Um, that would be kind of cool, like having more boats and stuff, because the game, it had boats and everything, but it wasn't really focused on it that much. It was more like tanks and planes, really. Um, right. So, now, um, a new dinosaur mode um, everyone's talking about. Um, it's going to be a co op dinosaur mode, apparently. Um, and players team up to fight dinosaurs with bows, arrows in hands, as well as primitive weapons. So, bows and arrows would be quite a cool idea. And um, having like some normal weapons as well makes it kind of cool. Make it a bit like um, zombies, but you start off with some stuff. And maybe they have it so like you're in a pr plane crash and you some like land in an abandoned area. That would be kind of cool. And the potential names for that were... Battlefield 4 BC, Battlefield 4 Primal Combat, and Battlefield 4 21,942 BC, which is kind of a, it's a big number, big freaking number. So yeah, hopefully um, these things will be in the game. I'm mostly excited for um, the naval warfare and um, the, um, the dinosaur mode, mostly the naval warfare, I have to say, um, because I, I just really wanted something to be like that. But yeah, hopefully they'll all be in the game, um, as well as um, the new um, dynamics of the game. Um, hopefully the new the maps they'll be bringing back um, from Frostbite 2 to Frostbite 3 will be really good difference, and will be far better graphics and far better action. So hopefully you've enjoyed this little commentary. I'll keep you guys up to date with the latest news about the game coming this year. And thank you for watching. Please rate, comment and subscribe. And thank you for watching. Bye.